weeks after handily winning the Democratic nomination for Travis County District Attorney, Jose Garza faces another challenge to his office. Now, a judge is allowing a case to move forward that could result in Garza being ousted. That petition brought by a Travis County resident accuses Garza of incompetency and official misconduct, largely over his targeting of law enforcement officers and police oversight. Travis County Democrats have largely backed Garza. You don't have to agree with every decision of Jose Garza. In fact, you don't have to agree with any decision that Jose Garza has made as district attorney to know that this is wrong. The precedent for removing Garza from office, House Bill 17, passed with sweeping Republican support last session. That law establishes a guideline for removing prosecutors from office with a citizen-led petition, as happened here. Mansfield House Republican David Cook, who authored the law, says the goal is to obligate prosecutors to enforce all laws in equal measure. Given Garza's past statement of not prosecuting laws related to the ban on abortion and his heightened efforts toward law enforcement accountability. You know, that's what HB 17 is, is designed to do, is, is to remove that camp, you know, those campaign speeches from the responsibility and role that uh, district attorneys are to provide in the in the uh, uh, carrying out of the laws in the state of Texas. Over the weekend, Garza shared a statement writing in part that this petition for removal is wasting taxpayer money trying to undermine the decision of the voters of Travis County. They failed once and they'll fail again. We reached out to Garza's office for an interview and didn't hear back, but we spoke with him about this very law last month. You don't think that that's at all going to intimidate the way that your office handles cases over the next four years? Absolutely not. And in our criminal justice system, it is the people who get to decide what justice is. And Democrats on Monday alleged the unconstitutionality of the law and pointed to potential legal pushback over that down the road. Would you consider filing a lawsuit actually debating the merits of the constitutionality of HB 17? Well, I think we are early days, of course. Uh, there will have to be a defense mounted uh, and there's a whole process to go through. But no one has yet looked at the constitutionality of HB 17. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.